Pancreatic cancer is the fourth deadliest cancer in the world. Every year, nearly half a million people are diagnosed. Less than one in 10 will live five years. It's so deadly as it's almost always diagnosed too late. The majority of our patients um, have you know, metastatic disease at presentation, and only a small fraction, about 10 or 15%, actually have a tumor that's operable at diagnosis. But research done at Israel's Sheba Medical Center has been instrumental in an international clinical trial to identify and target the cancer in patients with a common genetic mutation. In some of the patients that have this genetic BRCA1 or 2 mutation, their tumors um, behave um, in a slightly different way, and it means that they have a defect in their DNA repair. That mutation occurs in about 7% of the population and means they don't fix DNA, putting them at a high risk for cancers. By identifying the gene, researchers could use statistical analysis to predict cancer growth and target treatment early. As more cases of pancreatic cancer are diagnosed, more genetic markers associated with the disease can be identified. If researchers can create a genetic map of the cancer's most common growth conditions, they can catch it earlier in more and more cases. We have to learn how to identify these patients in order to really focus our treatment in a very precise way for them going forward. There's a lot of work still to be done. It's a breakthrough for targeted medicine, specific solutions for specific people, rather than a one-size-fits-all approach. But it's a test run to take the fight to one of the most dangerous diseases around.